welcome back to Folkcraft Clatties. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make these MDF frames using only hand tools. Very, very simple, easy to make and a load of fun. So these are two I've just sort of made up. This go the first one I made. This is a um, version 2 prototype of my Bulldog design. These are only thin frames. I wouldn't recommend them with anything band stronger than maybe 0.6. I used, I'm using 0.5 on them, so only thin light cut bands. And they work fine, just don't put too much pressure on the frames. As you can see, this is not an Evo. So I've made one of these up, uh, banded it up, and it, they both shoot as well as you would pay a, for a £30 frame or something like that. Uh, the materials I'm using is just a bit of MDF here. I'm using a coping saw to cut it. And then obviously your pen and paper and a couple of different grips of sandpaper and stuff like that that's pretty much all I'm using I've also seen me use a rasp file which I picked up at a car boot sale for I think a pound and that works a lot with moving a lot of material very very quickly um, so the first thing I'm going to start by doing would be drawing up a design so a good little thing I like to do in drawing a frame to make sure it's perfectly symmetrical would be to fold the paper in half just like that draw it on one side and then you, when you draw it on one side, you cut it out, unfold it, and you've got your perfect symmetrical frame. Done that with a, with all the frames that I've done, and it's worked perfect. And that way, you make sure everything is the same size on both sides. I just want to say in advance, please excuse the state of my desk. I use it a lot, as you can see. that bit a bit make it a bit smoother but yeah I, i'm gonna call this frame the vampire don't know why just like the look of it now it's gonna be transferring it over to here now one way i have found which works pretty well is to lay it on there then put a bit of spray paint over it and that gets perfect design or you can just trace it around with a pencil that's probably what i'm gonna do Alright, so I've got the frame cut out and roughed out. As you can see, it's extremely rough looking. I've left a bit of black as it's good to take down some material. But in the hand, it feels quite comfortable. That's always a good sign. And a little warning when using MDF. If you're using thicker MDF, it isn't too that bad. You shouldn't really be using MDF at all. But I find it's an easy thing to cut. It's fun, it's cheap, it's easy. And it is safe as long as you do it right. So I'm only using 10mm thick MDF which means I'll only be doing over the top catties, not TTF, as that's putting too much strain on the wood. Is when you're like that, it's mostly supported by your hands. That's why I only use light bands with it, not heavy sort of 0 0.6, 7 or 8 setups. I only use 0 0.5, maybe even 0 0.55 with 8mm steels on it. But now I'm going to clamp it in the vise again, and then go at it with the rasp file, and then some sandpaper. I'm going to go with the rasp file, just get down the shape, and then I'm going to go over it with the sandpaper. I did a little bit off camera, I just uh, leveled it up a bit and did a little bit more sanding, straightened some things up, adjusting things, and now they fit. Now it just feels a lot better, fits a lot better in the hand, 
Now we're going to get on to doing bevels, so first we're going to have to mark up those bevels. Right, so all I've done, I just drew up some things, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to sand off all the material from these marks down to the marks that I've drawn there, and that should give me a really, really nice feel for it. Um, then I'm going to draw some marks on the other side and do that. Now you can do this with sandpaper, you can do it with the file to bevel it, or you can even use a Dremel. I'm going to use a bit of them all, just whatever's easiest at the time. I'm not going to time lapse it, it's just going to take ages, but and it's going to be more more and more videos for you to watch. Just one this short, quick, simple. I'm going to get it done, come back, and then we'll see how it's looking. Alright, so I've done um done the rough sanding on it now. I like to keep some hard edges. I've got to obviously go over it with the 80 grit and then the 120 grit to make it smooth, but I'm going to chew up the other side, get the other side done, clean it up, and then go over it with sandpaper then. Now, I may have gone a little bit overboard off camera, but I decided, you know, why not make it a Halloween special? And so I added like a little bat shaped thing here using a 4.5mm steel as the head, and then a little um, cobweb down bottom and painted it black. And I also obviously did all the sanding, added band grooves to it like that, and it's, it's a nice hold. It's something I'm actually quite impressed with myself with this frame. I wasn't expecting it to come out this good. The cobweb work was probably the hardest bit. Tiny little raised bat on it. All complicated stuff, but it didn't take that long. I did have to resort to the Dremel. Um, to obviously the cobwebs and that, as I, um, none of my tools were sharp enough to do it. But yeah, I just used little rolled up bits of paper, sprayed some spray paint on my desk, and then um, used that to cut in on there and cut in on the um, bat as well. Uh, thank you for watching. Happy Halloween.